hello. The main question that we have is what are the reasons that lead college students to end up abandoning their careers? It depends on the academic branches, faculties, or schools and the personal circumstances of university students. Universities consider the possibility of extracting early warning patterns from their database that help to act in time in those cases where the probability of abandonment begins to be relatively high. There are two objectives in this study. Apply a machine learning methodology adapted for classification tasks on university studies framework and obtain accurate models able to predict studies dropping out from most relevant students and degree characteristics. At the time, university visa rector's offices for students are using the information available, such as students' performance database and number of failures, to plan the necessary changes and master lines in new teaching. The vice rector's office for students provides the corporate database that collects information regarding the student's current enrollment, academic information on the student's evolution, and social demographic information on the student. The database has 33 variables. The most important ones are Abandono and Media Set This, used as dropout variables in the classification trees. As you can see, where there are more students in, in the campus of Elche. In total, there are four campus. The faculty with more students is the Faculty of Social and Legal Sciences of Elche, out of nine. The average mark is between 6.5 and 7. The analysis methodology is divided on four phases. Data preprocessing. The database has been filtered to exclusively extract records relating to undergraduate students. The tables containing errors and outliers have been removed. The dropout variable abandono has been put. Feature selection. Variable Wrangle algorithm through machine learning R library has been applied in order to obtain a ranking of attributes ordered by relevance. Classification models. In its case, the R part classification and regression algorithm has been parameterized and has been fed with the corresponding most relevant attributes in order to predict the dropout target variable. As the target variable is discrete, the algorithm acts as a classifier. Interpretation. Finally, for different faculties, different accuracies with different confusion matrix are achieved by the predictive model obtained on the third phase. Here are the results. On the right, you can see a table with the school of faculty, the ranking of attributes and the accuracy. In the faculty of pharmacy, the most relevant attributes are modalidad, media from 0 to 10, media from 0 to 4, CLA and TIPO. Here you have the classification tree. I'm going to explain the right branch. The least pane in blue means that the majority of the students haven't abandoned and if the leaf is pane in green means that the majority of the students have abandoned in that case. The N means no and the S means yes. If a student hasn't passed more than 83 credits and his or her average mark is less than 5.6 points, then the 19% of the total has abandoned. The accuracy of this tree is more than 84%. Here you have the confusion matrix. As a conclusion, we can say that dropout patterns depend on the characteristics and performance of the students, but also on variables specific to the faculty in which the degree is located. The proposed analytical staged methodology allows to generate models that are easy to interpret thanks to the ranking of attributes carried out in the first stage. Several tests has, have been carried out using all the variables and trees are much deeper and more complex to interpret with slightly lower courses. Future works. It is decided to implement a decision support system that incorporates such productive models as an inference engine. Such a DSS is intended to serve as an early warning system on the progress and monitoring of students during each semester 
automatically displaying the alarms, in those cases that fit into the pattern, potentially more prone to drop out of or academic failure. This will allow the university managers at early to avoid the abandonment. Thank you.